Eric back a naturopath. Thanks for coming back. What do I do after my candida detox is finished? After I finish my candida detox and I start your candida diet, is it, can I start taking the candida products to remove and restore right away? Or do I have to follow the steps and start taking them a couple of weeks or months apart? Which way is better? Well, as I mentioned before, uh, the Canzita products certainly help with the protocol and they help really in you know, relation to how much you need them and how much you're taking and how long you take them for. So it's like anything in life. You take something if you're going to get an advantage from it and you stop taking it when you no longer have the need for taking that product. All right? Now some things that we buy, like toilet paper, we need them all the time. Okay? There's no, no stop to, to toilet paper, for example. But other things like an annual vacation, well, we can't always be on vacation. It might be once a year and that's it. You do things and buy things and take things when you need it. So if you think about the Kanzita products, they're used as part of a protocol ranging anywhere from two weeks up to six months. So a piece of rope can be an inch long or it can be six miles long. There's no end to a piece of rope. That's what I'm trying to say. So it depends on how advantageous it is for you to take the product and what you're getting out of taking those dosages. So normally people take the Candida products throughout the three stages of the Candida Crusher, uh, you know, the diet, basically the MEVI diet, the hypoallergenic or the low allergy phase, and then we've got the new diet implementation phase. As I said, the first phase can take two weeks, three weeks generally, the second phase can take between two to six weeks, and the third phase is ongoing and it can be usually a month or it could be two months or it depends on the person. The products are usually taken throughout those three stages. Many, many people who I've seen over the years stayed with Kanzita for a good two to three months, even six months after the protocol was finished and they slowly wound things down then they stopped and then once per year they would take the Kanzita products for a few weeks just as like a refresher, okay? That's what I found most people would do. I got one guy who interestingly made a lot of notes uh, regarding taking the products. And I remember him telling me the first few times he took the Kanzi that he had huge reactions and his gut played up. But over a period of six months or so, a bit longer, the reactions stopped, they disappeared. Now he no longer feels anything when he takes them and he feels awesome and the bowel's working beautifully. And that's when he stopped taking the products. He just phased them out. And that's what I recommend most people do. Take it when you need it, phase it out when you don't. All right. I'm a supplement taker, but I don't take supplements all the time. I take them when I need them. All right. I don't take vitamin D. I spend tons of time in the sun. My vitamin D levels are well above average, up to 80 or 90. I don't even take it. It's all the oily fish I eat and the sunshine exposure. So take stuff when you need stuff. But you obviously can't do a test for, you know, whether you need candida or not, but you can go by how you feel by your energy levels, by your sleep patterns, okay? Just by your overall, uh, what we call joie de vivre, or your enjoyment of life. If this is pretty high, you've probably got a low requirement for Kenzita, right? That's how you need to think. Thanks for the question.